hi to Chaco. Okay, uh, we have a Shao Light Binder. Summons a Water Elemental. It's going for the Vanagate Wizard. And another Footman is being built there. But I didn't ring a protection plus two. That doesn't help you kill the Blade Master. I guess the uh, percentage just, just dropped a little bit. On the Blade Master dying. Many of health isn't that great. You know the Blade Master, he got a clause of attack. Okay, he's gonna kill the Footman. Does he actually kill the Footman? No, the Footman gets away. And the Archmage picks up this gauntlet for extra hit points. The Footman does keep, uh, you know, scouting the Blade Master. He's dying to the creep. 72, 62 hit points, 52 hit points, 42, 44. Okay, he survives such micro here from Fly. Never seen it before. He survives the first creep camp. Okay, he's going for the second one. Second one is not attacking the Blade Master, so he should be fine. He should be safe. The Blade Master shouldn't be dying. Picks up the slippers of agility. Look how agile he is right now. Suddenly, oh, the are frog. With these items, Blade Master dying really small. It's uh, instead of uh, also you already got the the biggest, the scariest creep camp done. So uh, you know maybe now. It, it dropped by 20%. Maybe it's now just 60% chance that Blade Master dies. You know, 40% chance he dies to, uh, no, let's say 50% chance he dies to Creeps. 10% chance he dies to Romantic. Anyway, he's going for the Archmage. No one has the Boots of Speed. But we do have uh, Sentry Wards here for the Archmage. That's a super item, of course. Just uh, go this way. Where are the, all the Footmen, actually? Forces are under attack. Where are the Footmen? Oh, they're creeping here. Do they have to defend? No, but the, the Grunt is seeing the Footmen creep here. Yeah, the Footmen get ensnared. The Grunt doesn't. Because the Footmen took the ensnare. Oh, he's going to kill the item. He should be killing the Tome of Agility as well. Oh, no. The, kill the Gauntlet, but not the Tome. This Footman has so much damage. He's so dead. The Archmage, though, can buy whatever he wants, like uh, boots, and he can creep. And he can creep to level 3, and then this main is in trouble. The tier 2 is in trouble. The Bestiary, Spirit Lodge, everything else is in big trouble. You know Romantic Players always goes Beastmaster in this matchup. Even when he doesn't pressure, even when he doesn't go for an expansion, even when he doesn't... Oh, is that enough for level 3? Oh, that's enough for level 3. It's so it's nice here with these two Militia. He knows exactly how much XP he needed. This Footman uh, might die to just two Grunts, which is super strange. Here comes the Archmage with two Water Elementals. He was waiting for the cooldown for the second Water Elemental. He's going for Burrows. There's no tier 2 going up yet, so he's just going for the Burrows. The second Water Elemental is almost gonna be up here. I'm taking it for him. There it is. And everyone just take this Burrow. This one Water Elemental taking so much damage, though. And uh, only two Footmen. Like, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he should have waited a little bit longer. So we could cancel any tier 2 buildings instead of just doing a lot of damage to the burrows. Uh, because, you know, I don't feel like he did a lot of damage there. And he lost so many footmen early game. How many did he lose? Maybe one, actually, only. <laughs> he might lose another one here, though. The Blade Master uses his big ass sword. He also has boots, he has slippers, he has claws. This footman is just dead. It's, uh, there's the Beast Master. No matter what, guys. Romantic picks the Beast Master. And he can win with a late game. Like,. It's insane how good he is with the Beastmaster, with the piggies, splitting up the piggies so they can't, uh, they don't get uh, dispelled with the water elemental at the same time and the slow at the same time, uh, using invis on the piggy to uh, walk past the orc army and then uh, flank attacking the orc army. It's just so good with the piggies, but uh, maybe he's going to die. Uh, we do have someone focusing the beastie area to footman and a piggy, of course. Beastmaster, did he manage to summon one more piggy? No. Um, was this one just summoned? Yeah. Okay, so two piggies, two water elementals, and uh, one dead footman, and one alive footman. Bestiary totally cancelled. The spirit lodge is. Uh, did he go for the spirit lodge? He is going for the spirit lodge. If he can get the spirit lodge, this game is going to be so easy for uh, Romantic, even if he's forced to use his TP here. If he dies, though, if the Archmage dies, that would be really bad for Romantic. Does he get the spirit lodge? He doesn't need the TP because there's no more mana for uh, Hex. Spirit Lodge is actually going up. It, it just barely got up. If there was maybe one more unit uh, killing the Spirit Lodge, would have gone down. But um, there's a War Mill. No Bestiary. He doesn't have the Lumber for the Bestiary. He's now also using Lumber to repair this uh, Spirit Lodge. And he will also need to repair this uh, Burrow. Meanwhile, the Blade Master. What item did he get here? Sobe Mask. Super item for the Shadow Hunter. But uh, he's. Oh, hello, Fly! Fly not paying attention. Hello, Fly! Hello. Uh, I guess he didn't expect this Archmage to be here right now. 
Oh, Blade Man has done... Okay, okay. He's not taking any damage. For a second, I was like... <laughs> okay. I mean, it's Fly, guys. I have to worry. Not for no reason. It's Fly. There goes the War Mill. The second Burrow. I mean... A player's forces are under attack. We saw this in a different matchup. Fly against... Uh, fly against... Who was it? Life. Where it was the other way around. Life had the hero levels. But no uh, buildings. This game is the other way around. Fly has a better hero levels, three and two, but no buildings, no units, no money for units, no lumber. He has a uh, supply block as well. And Romantic has uh, just everything he needs, but no hero levels. He has a, well, his Archmage is level three, I guess, that's fine. His Beastmaster level one, I guess he's only le one level behind, so Romantic with uh, the better harassment, harassing the units, just better units at this point. He has worse items though, I mean, does Romantic win this? Or does Fly win this? Well, maybe if you can get a level 3 Shadow Hunter, that would be so insane. But he's creeping here together with the Blade Master, so he's not gonna get a level 3 Shadow Hunter just yet. Uh, level 3 Shadow Hunter with Shobby Mask would be so insane. But uh, what does he have in, in units? Grunts, Grunts die so easily, peasily against the sorceresses, but we only have one, two, three sorceresses. Okay. Uh, the Grunt's not as strong. Shadow Hunter's low hit points. The Archmage is fine. He has a healing potion. This is looking horrible for a Fly, actually. This is uh, no chance for Fly. Does he build something? He's not. He's supply stock still, I guess. So, no, he doesn't build anything. He, uh, he builds a second Spirit Walker, and his units are hurt. There's a healing wave. Uh, man yeah, he's out of mana. Gives the Sobe Mask to Shadow Hunter. At this point, it's uh, worth the trade. Or, I mean, uh, worth giving it to him. The Water Metal being focused. The Grunt's. Uh, just so long hit points. It's just uh, the sorceress is, should probably just pick off his grunts, but uh, Shadow Hunter is, is surrounded uh, by his own grunts as well. But you know, he's just uh, he's just going to die. Even if he kills the Beastmaster, no one cares. I mean, the Beastmaster has done his job. Uh, the Shadow Hunter still had a lot of things left to do. This grunt, he takes so much damage. Blade Master killing a tower in the background, which is nice. Uh, or in the back line, I should say. There goes the Spirit Walker. There goes the. We have two grunts here and a Blade Master. Good luck, fly. Uh, there goes this uh, grunt. We have so many fake Blade Masters using fake critical strikes, though. That might scare uh, Romantic away. Maybe those fake crits. Oh, and there's a real crit. 98 damage and he kills the Sorceress. And, and Romantic's so scared now that he saw a real critical strike. So he actually moves back a little bit. He uh, builds another Arcane Tower. It's just a Blade Master, really. These two units, they're nothing. This uh, guy is even dead. We have a level 2 Beastmaster now. And, uh, oh, I clicked somewhere. I didn't mean to click. Well, I have a dead Footman. And this piggy, I mean, the grunt, is he going to die? The piggy is going to be, uh, yeah, he's, he's dead. They has 174 crit. He needs more of those. He just needs to crit every attack. And that's the way for Fly to win the game. There's another crit, 141. But he needs to crit more. Just crit, 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 and he can win. This uh, headhunter is dead. There's a uh, kill on the priest. Romantic just killing grunts and burrows and whatever he wants. Besides the blade master, he can kill everything. Uh, he's going for. Uh, uh, I mean, he killed the other headhunter. This one maybe uh, will die as well. But he's doing a lot of damage to the tower. Oh, the blade master on hit points. This is like the opposite, by the way. He loses everything besides the blade master, which is uh, very interesting. But I feel like this romantic just toying with him. Romantic is like, ha, I'm not gonna kill you, the blade master. I'm not gonna kill your blade master just so you play a game you're not used to. So. Uh, that's a very nice strategy here by Romantic. He's getting the shot. The Buddha launch is going down. The Piggy gets away. Nice getaway there by the Piggy. Uh, I mean, he didn't get away. Nice. Uh, what am I? What the fuck? I just saw the Piggy die and I was like, he got away? That's what I said. But of course, I meant the... I don't know what I meant. There goes the Murloc. We have another Murloc there in the back. The two headhunters will, uh, are trying to kill uh, a little, little uh, peasant guy. He does go down. The Shadowhunter got the kill. Okay, well, it's just uh, an headhunter dying here. That's all we're seeing. He has mana for another healing wave, though. And the Shadow Hunter is not level 3 yet. We have uh, two Arcane Towers up in the back. He's building another one here in the front. Mantic 48 supply, 534. Uh, Blade Master going for the Beast Master. 168 crit is nice. Can someone cancel this healing self, please? Thank you, Spellbreaker. Blade Master is going to crit. He's going to crit. There it is. I knew it was he was going to crit. 156 and maybe another crit on this chicken and he can kill him. It's crit. Don't just normally attack. Hello, Blade Master. Don't you know when it's important to crit? I'm sure Lin's uh, Blade Master would have critted there and killed the, the Beast Master. But, you know, Aki knows he's just, you know, not, uh, not there when you need him. 
Put another one down. He's going for this. Uh, I mean, he's going to die, of course, you know. Um, Romantic is done toying with Fly and GG. Romantic wins game one. Do we see Archmage against a Blade Master? We do. I wonder if it's gonna be Tojara. Or is it gonna be Mogul? Or, you know, maybe we have Misak Mikasa or or uh, Samuro or you know what? Yubei. Yoshura. I'm not sure what Fly deserves at the moment. I'm not sure. He's been a pretty good fly, but last game he didn't lose his Blade Master until the very end. I'm not sure if he deserves a great Blade Master at this point. Let's see what he got. Kigami. Okay, Kigami is pretty good. Kigami's sword is just a bit sharper than the other uh, Blade Master short swords because of the you know his name is just so sharp. Like Kigami, it's like like. Sounds like you're just you're cutting someone like Kigami, like Kigami, like Kigami. So so much power in the sword, so much uh, sharpness at least, so much uh, so easy to cut. We have a ring of protection, that's not very good. Of course, Kigami already has sharp sword, so he doesn't need uh, more claws of attacks, etc. He just relies on his sword. We have a claws of attack here on the Archmage. Mikasa, hundred percent, sheet. <laughs> Well, the Archmage here is almost level 2. We have a, a sheep over there blocking these two peasants. Nice job, sheep. Protecting the burrow. He's working for the orcs. This sheep. I mean, I'm sure uh, they will eat him later. Blade Master going for the Ogre Magi. This burrow is dead, though. The Blade Master, does he have any way to come back? Yeah, speed school. Okay, well, uh, he's going for the next burrow now. Is this going to be a quick game? I wonder. Archmage is level 2. He was also creeping here with Militia at the same time. So uh, we have two peasants repairing, so Fly is not AFK, just for you guys wondering. Also has a ring of protection that he just got from the uh, Ogre Magi. This footman might die with the, the burrow. Oh, the footman, this fo he needs a footman damage. Oh, he gets a burrow. No more burrows here for Fly. Well, he's building one in the pack. And uh, now the peons are uh, in, under attack. The Blade Master is coming back, but he's not even full hit points. Hello, he's low in hit points. The footman can just kill him, maybe. Argument, what is he going to do? He's just searching for something. I'm not sure, for buildings, I guess. For burrows over there, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, there's a Blade Master, and someone should cancel the healing self. Okay, that's what he did. But I guess he doesn't need to focus on Blade Master. Although, with four footmen and an Archmage and a Water Elemental, he could. This, uh, this footman is retreating. This burrow is cancelled. What's your focusing next? Oh, one peon over there. This, uh, that's a dead peon. This is gonna be such an amazing game. If Fly wins this game, it's gonna be the best game of the year. Anyway, this peon is also taking a lot of damage. The Blade Master using his, his sharp sword to kill Footman. There goes, uh, there goes another peon. Oh, Burrow is gonna be cancelled. Blade Master level 2, guys. Same level as the Archmage, finally. But, uh, you know, he has much be more beautiful shoes than the Archmage. This, uh, this Burrow is also down, of course. Not sure if he tried to block the Archmage in with that burrow. Um, but, you know, it got cancelled. So, we have another burrow being built. Oh, Fly is so persistent the with the burrows. He really wants that burrow. And this time, I think it's going to go up. Of course, he builds another one. Wow. Fly building two burrows because even if he finishes one, he's still supply stuck. So, I can build one peon, I guess. There's a beast master, another footman. This footman is just baiting. The, the blade master gets to bait it. All the way to the base here of Romantic. And the Beastmaster already on their way. We have uh, Footman in the back. Most of them did survive. Or I think all of them besides one, right? One Footman went down. Here's his body. And uh, that's it. Here is the Beastmaster. Or did this one die? No, it survived, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Blade Master already back. He has boots of speed. He comes back in a matter of seconds. Uh, one burrow got cancelled, so it's just you know just one burrow. Uh, he's not even, even focusing the burrow. He finds the grunt, so he's like, hey, grunty punty, why don't you die to my piggies? And he is like, okay, back to the burrow. Where's Archmage? Archmage is coming back again, using his uh, claws of attack to attack this burrow. Water Elemental did go down, but soon we'll have another piggy. And uh, we don't have mana for Water Elemental for a while. Let's go for the Beastmaster. The Beastmaster might die here, but, you know, like it, like, <laughs> like flies going to win this game. Uh, we have three piggies now uh, going for the burrow in the back. 
Uh, of course, this burrow is not going up. Beastmaster's back. Maybe we should just attack this burrow instead of walking all the way to the burrow in the back. Hello, Beastmaster. Do you listen to me? No, he doesn't. He's going for the grunt. Okay, sure, that's fine. But now you're taking a lot of damage. So uh, he might go back. This grunt is dead finally. And uh, Fly has, of course, a super nice chance to win this game. Kappa, uh, this footman is Michael back. The Blade Master takes some uh, some sword hits. There's another piggy. Beastmaster might die at some point in the future. Maybe not during this game, though. Well, he's uh, going for it. Okay, he committed to the uh, Beastmaster. Uses a wind walk. He's dead. He, not dead yet, but in a moment he's going to die. Beautiful death. Is this the comeback? Look at this beautiful comeback here by Fly. Killing that Beastmaster. He's only 23 supply behind. He only has one burrow still. I mean, uh, you know, these footmen are doing nothing. Uh, because they're uh, waiting for the regeneration scroll. Fly has such a beautiful piggy in his base. So uh, he doesn't like the piggy in his base. So he's killing it with a sword. There's a nice 66 critical strike. Could have blocked the piggy with a peon, but he's in no hur hurry here to kill the piggy. Kills it now. Yes, a clarity. Oh, Archmage isn't done yet, of course. Uh, I thought he was done, but it's not done yet. Water the Metal just uh, going for the Watchtower. Where's that Beastmaster? Oh, we already have priests here healing the footman. Another priest over here, but he's not healing. He's uh, a selfish priest. He rather wants to read a book here in the back than. Uh... Oh, Archmage says TP out. Ooh, almost died here. The Blade Master used a mana potion, I think. Uh, to kill the Archmage, but he didn't quite kill the Archmage. Archmage uses a uh, regeneration school. I wonder how Romantic is going to try to win this game. Maybe with a Tower Rush. Maybe with uh, not a Tower Rush. It doesn't really matter, does it? He does buy some Towers. This is such, such so much excite in this game. The Blade Master going for the Ogre Warrior. This is enough for level 3. Can a level 3 Kigami win this game by himself? He's building two Watch Towers. This Burrow is going up. I mean, uh, second hero. No. Yet he's still supply stock, he doesn't even have the money or the lumber for it anyway. Level 3 Blade Master going for Mr. Archmage, but he has a uh, healing potion. Oh, he's not going for him just yet, he's just still just checking out the Archmage with his uh, level 2 wind walk. And he's going for sources. Okay, where's this slow? There it is, beautiful slow. Blade Master slowed, but he walks still very fast with the wind walk, uh, even if he slowed. It's the, okay, the source is still alive. There are some towers. There's uh, some defensive towers up as well. Do they have to fo defend? Footman defend? No defend. He does kill the sources. That's a level 3 blade master for you. He does win use the wind walk. This, uh, this guy's being healed by the other priest. Blade master, you know, he's beautiful, but the shop is going down. The Shadow Hunter is being built. Uh, we have two towers and two burrows. I'm not sure if uh, Romantic can even break this without defend. He's not upgrading the fan unless it just got finished. No, but if the blade master dies, he has mana for more wind book though, and he should be fine. Uh, yeah, romantic. I don't think he can break this, especially not with the demolisher there. Hello. Well, I see overcommitting here. Is romantic actually still going uh, going to throw away this game? It is possible, guys. They're level three blade master. These heroes are still level two and we're level one. Oh, but actually, never mind. He can easily break it. I was just uh, making the game so exciting for you guys. I never thought that romantic couldn't break it. I was just, you know, trying to make the game more exciting. The blade master is kind of surrounded. Is he surrounded? Is he? Uh, he gets out. The demolisher, peace call, get him out of there. Two towers are dead. We just have two burrows now. There's the Shadow Hunter. And uh, you know what? There's the Piggy. The Piggy and the Footman going for the burrow. I'm not sure here defending in the back. There's a healing wave. The Blade Master. I mean, maybe he should have picked level two critical strike. You know, I'm just saying, you know, maybe there would have been a better choice. Uh, Blade Master takes a bit of damage. There's a healing wave though, but it's just level one. And Beast Master chops him up once. And he said enough. Oh, the Beast Master goes down to the Shadow Hunter. Nice job, Shadow Hunter, but he's surrounded now, so he's going to die. Blade Master is going to survive the Archmage. Uh, some sort of Water Elemental, the Piggies, and the Water Elemental, and the Footman just killing this Demolisher. If the Water Elemental can reach. There, the, hunt the Shadow Hunter did die, by the way, in fact. Uh, the Archmage is level 3. There it is, GG.